Jamie George captains the Saracen side from Hooker as Mark McCall makes a host of changes to the team that relegated Worcester last weekend. There are notable starts from Mauro Atoje making his Premiership debut and Justin Melk fresh from German international duty. Owen Williams gets us underway. Ball almost gathered there by Briggs. Spilt forward and Spencer will clear his lines. Saracens playing in their uh, familiar away strip now with Gray and those blue hoops. A relatively youthful Saracen side taking the field this afternoon. And uh, certainly one that this uh, Leicester Tigers team will fancy their chances against this afternoon. Stankovic spills the ball. Reclaimed it? No. Garner uh, judges it to have been knocked on and we'll have our first scrum. Well, both these teams uh, really coming to the boil very nicely. Saracens uh, in their last Premiership game, putting away and relegating Worcester at Allianz Park. And the Tigers' last game, a fine victory up at Sale, 42-22. to And uh, the Tigers, of course... Uh, like many of the, like many people, are, I certainly early in the season were thinking whether or not Tigers would make this last four. But oh, ye of little faith! Of course, Tigers are always ready for the playoffs, and they are looking to uh, bounce into the final four with a good victory here this afternoon. Stankovic uh, just taking a little bit of uh, attention. That uh, bounce of his looks as though it's been damaged. Saracens this afternoon, captain by Jamie George. Big afternoon for him and a big afternoon for several players. Several players making a debut, premiership debut, and some making a return to the fold, especially in the back row. You don't have to look too far for the number of number six, Mauro Itoji. A very exciting prospect playing at blindside this afternoon and alongside him at seven, Justin Melk, his first premiership start this season. Recently... Uh, presented with his first German international start. But Stankovic is uh, going to make way. That injury uh, needing attention. And it's uh, an early exit and an early entry to the game to Marcus Ayetze. One of the favourites here at Welford Road and you can hear that from the reaction he gets. But early off the bench that familiar red and green scrum cap into use early on. Strong scrummage from Saracens who present the ball well on the wheel. Hodgson into the midfield. This is the Scotland international Duncan Taylor into the mix. Out there go Saracens again. They've impressed so many with this quick handling style of theirs. Recycling the ball quite well. Leicester will look to try and slow this game down as far as they're concerned. But through the mix goes the number eight, Nick Fenton Wells. All of a sudden, a bit of space. Hodgson, inside ball to the captain, Jamie George. Spencer again. Hodgson, good hands, missed pass. Ten yards out now. Oh, Saracens, early pressure for them. The dummy almost created a bit of space there. I think that's reskill. Spencer again. Dummy it goes. He darts and he's over. Super start for Saracens. Well, it looked on a little a phase beforehand, didn't it? Spencer almost threw the dummy, created the hole, and then the second time he did and benefited from it himself. Reaches out beautifully. A sniper's score. And Leicester caught napping early on. Saracens are in the mood for this. Good vision. Good scrambling. Despite the attentions of the Leicester defence. The young man. 21 years old. His first premiership try of the season.
Charlie Hodgson lines up the extra points. Oh, and uncharacteristically, a few oohs from the crowd caught me out as well. I was almost talking about that before it went over. Pulls it left. So it's just the five-point lead. Good score from Spencer. Rare start. Great start as far as the young man is concerned. And as far as the uh, Wolfpack are concerned from London, North London. Playing out of Barnet, of course, nowadays. And uh, enjoying their start up here at Welford Road. Man over the ball does well. That's Briggs who's disrupted it for Saracens, but they've claimed it back. Leicester trying to disrupt things, trying to get offensively defensive, if you like. Spencer, good hand in, large hand in from Maffey. But the ball eludes the chasing Blaine Scully. Huge hands of Steve Maffey there, reached out of the sky, plucked out the ball. Puts a lot of pressure on this throw of Jamie George. Catching the side this afternoon. Big afternoon for him. At one of uh, England, if not the world's more famous club rugby grounds. The hand of Maffey is in there again. He's created a bit of space for Melly. Off they go through Morris. He bounces the ball through the strong tackle. Melly again into the midfield. Williams, a bit of space for Leicester now. To Ilagi's first touch of the ball. Always gets the Leicester crowd on their toes. Back they come. The sun is shining. Let's play some rugby, say both sides. Penalty conceded. Greg Garner gives the home side a, a shot and quickly points at the post. Well, quite a breathless start this afternoon. A lot of people talking about the fact that obviously this game has nothing to play for. <laughs> well, to a certain extent, Leicester, of course, want to make sure of this position that they have at the moment third place they'll be desperate to get uh, revenge as well on Saracens look at those big hands of Maffey playing a large part already this afternoon yeah Leicester last time these two clubs met back in December they were handed out a 49-10 drubbing at the hands of Saracens and that will be very firmly in the mind of the players and the fans and the club men I want to write that wrong going into the playoffs. And, of course, momentum is such a big thing. Both these teams will be looking to take it with them as they enter the key part of the season. And Owen Williams slots that relatively straightforward penalty. So here we go again, Hodgson with his hands on the ball. Three points to five. Saracens uh, are ahead. Ball goes clean all the way through and out, straight out. So all the way back, can't have been much in that. Hodgson looks uh, wistfully at it. We've got the assistant referee, not sure whether it bounced, not, didn't see it. Somewhat of a faux pas, I would have thought, as far as the touch judge is concerned. An assistant referee looked somewhat embarrassed, but uh, never mind. Greg Garner has uh, made the decision. And we'll have a line-up for Leicester to try and gather. Briggs, a lot of movement in the line-up, but it's Parling who rises highest. Mele clears his lines. And clears them well. David Mele, the uh, former Perpignan man, enjoying his rugby here at uh, Leicester. That's for certain. It'll be George to uh, feed this line out for Saracens. Hits his man, the American rises high, Smith. Hodgson, oh, causing a lot of havoc in the midfield. Taylor's on the left of him. Can he find his line? I think he, oh, well, 
Covered there by Tate, I think it was. All of a second, Sar all of a sudden, Saracen sniffing again. Smith this time tries to burrow over. Recycle cleanly again. Out wide, Hodgson who made the problem in the first place. Spencer goes right this time, misses his man. Melk dives on the ball. Ransom, this jinking style of his, watch him this afternoon. He's a smaller operator, but a very difficult one to pin down. Penalty advantage was being played by Garner. You heard it clear there, a lazy runner. I'd like to see that Hodgson break again. He's uh, by far and away the most experienced man in this Saracens team, but goodness me, he still knows how to operate. Pull the strings, uses the runner on the right-hand side of him to create the space for himself. I thought Taylor might have had the gas here, but Tate, well, well, he did very well to cover that gap and make amends. But this is uh, immediate opportunity for Hodgson to uh, restore the five-point uh, lead. And that's a picture of uh, Mauro Itoje. More on him a little bit later. Looks uh, a really strong prospect. But Hodgson does uh, dissect the uprights. Now this Welford Road crowd starting to buzz. Feels that this is a, a game in front of them now. Saracen's putting a, a few serious markers down in the first 10 minutes here. They've come to play. They've come to ask some serious questions of this Leicester defence. Up both players go. Comes back Saracen's side. This is Ransom. Does well to gain a few extra yards. Spencer into the midfield. Forwards are there. Spencer again. Hodgson decides to uh, check the angle. Push Owen Williams into the corner. But with his right boot, he's able to kick the ball downfield. Ransom again. Those yellow boots starting to flash. Similar play from Hodgson. Similar result. Different man. Finds Morris this time. That is straight out from Hodgson. And a good touch on a little bit of the bend. Using a little bit of the wind here, which is favouring that kick down the right-hand touchline. And the ball uh, comes to rest out of play. Just inside the Tigers' half. Wind will be a factor this afternoon. Weather's okay. Threatened showers occasionally in this part of the world, but I think we'll get away with it. Of course, that's a commentator's curse for it to start raining, and I can see them. <laughs> I can see it starting to rain now. <laughs> oh, well done. Perfect timing on that call of the weather. Not straight the call at the line. Now that's Neil Briggs, former Rotherham Sale Sharks, London Welsh, played a bit in Burgoyne as well. Seasoned, I think they call it. Big afternoon up against the uh, young man, George. Both these men being mentioned in dispatches, Briggs and George. And this problem that England have at hooker. Bizarrely, both these names came up in a conversation I had with a, a man in the note. Briggs and George, both potentials to solve the problem. Of course, Rob Webber recently injured. Tom Young's out of the tour to New Zealand as well. And Dylan Hartley struggling to recover. May be involved in the final as well, but would one of these two be, I suppose? The hooker problem for England is an interesting one. It'll be interesting to see what happens this, uh, this summer. Early engage. Call from Greg Garner, which gives uh, Tigers the chance to run it, and they do that through Waldrum. Yeah, 
This is good work from the young Argentinian. He spills the ball, but it goes backwards. Oh, lovely hands from Tate. Releases to Ilagi. Good cover from Wilson, though. Strong tackles from Saracens at the moment. You'd expect nothing less. It's uh, been a much lauded story as the defence of uh, Saracens. Paul Gustard pulling the strings. This wolf pack mentality. Here they go again, Lester. Round the corner. Mele will find uh, Owen Williams who hoists the ball up into this swirling wind and makes Ransom work for it. Comes off the hand of Scully. Disappointed the American. Difficult ball. Wonderful kick in a way. Asked a lot of questions of the uh, young Saracens fullback. Rain coming down as well. Moved a lot in this last 20 metres or so, you can see. Oh, and Scully's unlucky not to gather that, I suppose. Yeah, see, that's interesting. Not a knock on there. It's gone out. And given the uh, option of that. Ball in. Man at the back is Hayden Smith, this American. A little bit of story to him, of course. Returning to Saracens. Had a dalliance in American football, no less. New York Jets had him on their payroll. Back now, playing Premiership Rugby. Ball is hoisted from the left boot. Of Spencer. Saracens make a little bit of a meal of it, but eventually clear it all up. Taylor doing some good work in the midfield. No advantage coming. Knock on there. Well, this is an intriguing afternoon. Of course, when you looked at it on paper... It looked an absolute cracker. The rain coming down may, may change, of course, the uh, opportunity to have too much of a free-flowing game, but still, these are two master tacticians, two heavyweights of the Premiership going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the final round. Strong scrummage. Melk playing at eight for that scrum. Picks up the ball. Benton Wells had gone to blindside. Hoisted into that air. Tate does very well. Gathers. Takes man and boy. Man and ball. Owen Williams. This uh, game obviously will start to become with the wet and the wind. Start to become a little bit of a kicking contest. A bit lucky with the post there. Might have bounced dead. But instead, Ransom has to run it to the top of his 22 and boot the ball clear. Ben Ransom, this former England under 20. Very exciting uh, prospect uh, going forward. Saracens think a lot of him. His uh, running style can unlock any defence. Briggs finds Maffey at the top of the line-out. Route one, they go through the large figure of Tuilagi. Miscommunication there, and let Saracens in, the ball bubbles around. You could see there that Maffey wasn't really expecting that ball on the inside. It's casual hands, and you could see Maffey wasn't... Uh, on the same wavelength as the Welshman Williams. Steve Maffey been very patient this year. Not get many opportunities to uh, show himself in Leicester colours. And uh, making up an international back row this afternoon for the Tigers. Maffey, Pablo Matera, this other youngster. 20 years old, Archin already got 11 Argentinian caps. And uh, a real prospect. Thomas Waldron, of course, uh, plays eight this afternoon for uh, the Tigers. Matera versus 
Etoje is an interesting subplot this afternoon. Two young men, 19 and 20 respectively, in the back row, looking to make their mark not only with their clubs but also internationally as well. Saracens uh, play the ball out. This is the New Zealander, Wilson. Tries to stay in field and can't. Jack Wilson, two tries already this term. One against Leicester earlier this season. Strong runner, but uh, well marshaled out of touch there. The greasy top helping uh, to aid his uh, defensive uh, men out, out, as it were. Briggs will feed this line out. Deacon rises, rises well, gathers the ball. Waldron, ball under in the crook of one arm. Looking to do with it. We'll feed Melee up and under again. The sun is back out. The rain has abated a little bit, but that doesn't mean that the ball uh, won't be kicked. And unfortunately, uh, I think it was Duncan Taylor who wasn't very obvious about what he was trying to do there. I think we'll have a good view of it here. Taylor just getting in the way of the uh, tracking man. He shakes his head to, uh, to try and protest his innocence, but... Um, if you've ever found yourself in that position, it's uh, pretty difficult not to uh, impede the man. It's just a case of whether or not the referee sees you or not. But Owen Williams will have a go. Asked for the tee quite early on, quite quickly. This impressive young man, Wales under 20, former Scarlet. Really impressed at Welsh Premiership level as well. And uh, has had a fantastic season this season. Preferred in front of uh, Toby Flood. And of course, with all of that build-up, he's bound to miss the kick. But he's uh, he's been a real find this season, I feel, Owen Williams. He's, uh, of course, potentially got a big few weeks in front of him. If uh, Leicester are to guide themselves to another... Premiership title. Playing alongside Toby Flood this afternoon. Toby Flood at inside centre. Fantastic take from the experienced Deacon. Leicester come into the midfield via Waldrum. Williams now finds his uh, centre Flood, who in, in turn finds to Elagi. Out they come again, a little show, inside ball, lovely inside ball, read well by Morris. Took it beautifully. Owen Williams just starting to uh, play the behind-the-back stuff, trying to get people involved on all angles. That is Parling. Men look as though they're in the wrong position there. Leicester will try and make the most of it. Malek goes short side. Wardrum tries to get his hands free. Presents it well, though. Maffey. Mele. Williams again into Briggs. Building slowly, patiently, a Leicester. This is the young Argentinian, Matera. And they do concede to Saracens. And I think we'll come back. There is a man down on the floor. Worrying looking injury. It, it, I think it happened in a tackle. I think this is Fenton Wells. 
Going very low, getting his head in the wrong position. Looks as though he's taken a knee to the head. Let's uh, hope it's not too serious. And they got very low, did Fenton Wells. Man who's uh, signed a contract with the championship outfit Bedford Blues, which Saracens, uh, who Saracens have such a strong relationship with. He's actually on the move permanently to them next season. He's played a lot of rugby with the uh, with the men from the East Midlands this season already. Only his uh, fifth Premiership start for Fenton Wells, and uh, I just hope he's taking his time. I hope he's just trying to get his bearings. I hope it's nothing too serious. A few checks, obviously. Such a hot potato. Head injuries in the game at the moment. And every precaution being taken by the uh, medical men to uh, make sure that Fenton Wells is, uh, is okay. And polite applause being extended to him from the Welford Road crowd. Fenton Wells, formerly of uh, Western Province and the Stormers, which is a fine part of the world to come in from if you want to play rugby. And you can see he's using just that word to his doctor. Fine, fine, and we'll play on. Oh, we won't. He's coming off. He's been a judge to have uh, been concussed and he will come off. I thought he was saying he was, but he's uh, disgruntled. Uh, well, he's disgruntled to be going off. And this is Scott Sperling. Now, this is an interesting one because I thought, looking at this uh, bench, as Fenton Wells was down, there wasn't a natural replacement for a back row player in the Saracens' rank. You've got Jubb, who's a second row, and Sperling is a hooker. He can play in the back row, but primarily there is hooker replacement Scott Sperling, and he's on the field now, and I'll have his work cut out. Baptism of, fire, baptism of fire up at Welford Road, but it's Mele who goes short side. Leicester looking to take advantage of this, break in the game and get back uh, in contention on, on the board through uh, Parling. Here we go, Mele. Williams. To Alagi. Tries to run through the Saracens' defence. Mele goes quick. Outside line, Scully. Holds onto the ball, Waltrip tried to take it off quickly and take it in, take it in and, and through and round the corner. Scully held on to it. Mele, Flood playing at first receiver, steps well, tries to fend. Leicester looking again. Itoje does some good work over the ball, slows it down. The shout of Tigers rings round. This famous ground, Matera, Flood. This is Scully again. More good work from the Saracens' defence. And Spencer it is who's able to snaffle it and rifle it down the left-hand touchline. Excellent uh, offensive, defensive play there from Saracens. They did really well. More injuries uh, will need attention. This was good work over the wall, over the ball. Fantastic. Everyone in the uh, Saracens team is so adept at uh, competing at the breakdown. Doesn't matter where you are on the field. And the uh, product is that you can uh, quite quickly relieve pressure. Duncan Taylor, I think, uh, will credit with that one. Making up for the uh, problem earlier. Where he... Uh, Conceded the penalty. And good work on the floor. That is the big man, Hayden Smith. First start for him since returning uh, from the NFL this afternoon.
Briggs will uh, try and throw it straight. He's a judge to have done so. Waldrum steering the boat. Leicester try and creak forward. Melee up and under again. More pressure put on this back three. Wilson does very well under the high ball. Presents it beautifully to Spencer. All of a sudden there's a little bit of a gap. Hodgson sees it. Goes for it. Looked a little bit forward from where I'm uh, sitting. And Greg Garner, after some deliberation, agrees with me. And so in Sheriff, the uh, former Leinsterman, his uh, run just in front of the ball. Communication from Greg Garner, they're going on to front rows. The, the scrums have done well. We've completed a few. Rare in the Premiership and uh, top division uh, rugby these days, of course, to have completed scrums. But we seem to be doing a good job so far. And I don't think I've put the coshers on it too, but no, I haven't. Here we go, Leicester. Feeding Tate. Tries to find an inside line. Melee. Parling. Such an impressive season Parling has had. He is desperate to get to that final. Williams again finds uh, Manu Tuilagi, whose brothers, of course, were in the news. The youngest of five brothers is Manu. And his older brothers were in the news for uh, signing for Newcastle Falcons. Family affair, of course, this premiership in more ways than one, but that'll be an interesting brotherly battle next season. Alex and Andy coming up against Manu. The earth will move. So still Leicester Tigers 3, Saracens 8. The early try from uh, Ben Spencer gives uh, the London team their advantage. Ball is presented now. Cries of use it. They go short through George. Spencer's left peg hooks the ball round and out. Number of players in this Saracens team this afternoon really looking to stick their hand up. You saw briefly there Michael uh, Taki Thaki about. Of course, the wingers uh, for Saracens at the moment in the shape of Chris Ashton and David Strettel would say that they are the first team wingers. And uh, very difficult to touch Ashton, of course, in receipt of the Premiership's uh, Player of the Month for April. Red hot he is. And, of course, uh, one eye on uh, making uh, good on that England return. Uh, Yurtz uh, and Reese Gill just... Uh, Trading phone numbers. But here we go again. Leicester breaking quickly. Williams, a little bit of front foot ball. Can they hold him up? They haven't been able to. Flood manages to get the ball to the floor. Melee again goes the same way. Dummies the inside ball. Gets scragged for his efforts. But the ball is out again. And Ben Spencer will clear again. And the ball drifts in field. Back Leicester go. And they'll have to uh, build again from 70 yards out. Ball is kicked uh, exactly down the middle of the field and it's uh, Melk who had it originally and then dropped it. Hodgson's there to clean up though. And he dabs the ball down the right hand touchline. Not the best kick Matthew Tate has ever kicked, but it went out.
Well, Leicester just being a little bit shaken a little bit early on by this uh, Saracens uh, effort. Not quite getting the flow they would like. Not quite getting the roll on the ball, the time on the ball. And just having to uh, think a little bit about this Rubik's Cube in front of them. Saracens aren't top of the, lay, uh, aren't top of the table for no reason. And even with uh, what is a slightly weaker side this afternoon, they will uh, cause anyone a few problems as Leicester are finding out. Tigers currently uh, in third as far as the table is concerned and will cement that place with any sort of result this afternoon. Another big game, of course, happening. Harlequins versus Bath. A lot of the premiership eyes on that. That's a winner takes all almost, isn't it? But Leicester can guarantee third this afternoon and they might do through the likes of Steve Maffey. Melee, Waldrum, half gap. Oh, greasy ball playing havoc. Just took his eye off it a little bit. Died on him and... Uh, Williams dropped it. Great take from Scully. Renowned for that work under the high ball is the uh, American. Nuggety player. Fantastic. Uh, very dependable when you, uh, when you need him. That's Williams uh, picking up an injury. I'm not sure how that uh, looks as though his uh, knee is in a bit of trouble, but a bit of a knock he's taken. There is Scully. 17 caps for the United States. It's out of Sacramento, California. A history major. At uh, Cal. And uh, snapped up by Leicester for uh, the type of thing that you just saw. So Williams is... Uh, Needing attention on this right knee. That's a little bit worrying for Leicester fans. His influence has been uh, strong this season. They won't like to uh, see him hampered in any way. He's hobbling a little bit. And we have uh, Jeff Parling making way for Leicester, taking a bit of a head wound. He's... Uh, Walking off in somewhat of a daze, it looks like. There he uh, is. looking like he's trying to remember where he put his car keys. Kitchener is on, I think. A straight swap in the second row for Leicester. Last 10 minutes of this first half. And uh, Saracen's clear with ease through the boots of Ben Ransom into the hands of Tate. What does he feel is on? A little dab and it's touched in flight. Hands from Flood trying to do the fancy stuff. We didn't have the same thought processes there from his uh, fly half Owen Williams. Leicester, building again through the blue headgear of Kitchener. Both these teams trying to feel each other out, trying to play the chess, play the, trying, to, trying to play the possession game and the uh, territory game. We'll pin each other back. A little bit of a kicking contest occasionally. Melee screaming orders at his uh, forwards. Trying to get some organisation going. Another box kick. Ransom rises majestically to take that. Another kick, this one end over end. Heading for that corner flag. 
take turns and cleans up. Well, game is sagging a little bit. As uh, Hodgson returns it down that right touch line. Ransom. So you fancy a little bit of a run. Almost. Saracens will build. This is Itoje. Six foot five and 19 years old. The exuberance of youth taking over and I'm sure we'll have a, a big future in front of him. Oh, this is uh, Taylor. Good hands from the young man. Finds Wilson on the outside. Not quite unlocking things. Saracen's asking a few questions, but not quite getting around the outside of the men in green. And that is the substitution of Owen Williams. Well, you saw it happen. And that isn't good news. He does limp from the field. He, he can no longer take part. This is Dan Bowden, the... Uh, Former London Irish, uh, former Highlander, Crusader. Lots of experience. He'll come onto the field. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I, I'm thinking Bowden might play 10. He might go into the centre and, of course, Flood will switch to 10 as well. Leicester go up and under again. This time the wind brings it in field. The man is taken out in the air. Another hot topic, another hot potato. Looked a little bit more of a contest than uh, a tackle. But Matera is uh, judged to have uh, infringed. And it is a penalty awarded to Saracens. And Hodgson feels it's a bit too far out and he'll kick it down the line. But he won't make touch. Oh, that will annoy the uh, the former sale man. Ideal opportunity to get some fabulous uh, field position for Saracens there, and he uh, and he didn't. Spencer's made up for it though. Good kick. The ball bounces out. Criminal. You hear the coaches uh, telling the young boys up and down the land. Of course, the young girls as well. Penalty. Make sure it goes out. Don't be too greedy. Hodgson, a little bit guilty of gluttony there. Garner trying to uh, make sure this uh, line out is as clean as possible. Kitchener rises and collects the ball. Waldron down the uh, blind side releases Morris. Skips away from his first man. Mele brings it into the midfield. Matera, good strength to shrug off the first tackler. Leicester again through the hands of Tate. Riggles, is, uh, Riggles the ball back on the green side. Flood. Caught in two minds. Eventually presents the ball. Waldrum swings round and makes a few extra yards. Mele sees a bit of a gap. Makes a ransom turn. Bit of open space. Waldrum tries to break the first tackle. Presents the ball. Mele comes right. Flood, Bowden, nice dummy, bit of space, nice step. Best bit of flair we've seen so far this afternoon. Leicester find themselves in a little bit of uh, try-scoring opportunity. Steve Maffey ducks under the hand of the onrushing Saracens defender. This Welford Road crowd is expecting Melee. Flood again, sees a front row uh, combination in front of him, decides to uh, give it a go, Mele, 
tackled high and I think a little bit unconscious as well. The referee will stop the game. Oh, head injuries are uh, very much in vogue in this game. And you can see there as Mele uh, tried to dance away from the defender. He got smacked and was almost out before he hit the ground. Oh, Leicester could have made something of that. We see it again. There was a few opportunities there and perhaps they were squandered. We'll see it here. It's uh, Mele, one of the smallest men on the pitch, being absolutely walloped by one of the biggest, Hayden Smith. Oh, that's uh, straight out of the NFL handbook, isn't it? Mele, 11 stone wet through. And currently lying prone. I don't think there was any malice in it as such. Of course, the height difference making it uh, a little bit more difficult. This is the break from Bowden. This was lovely. A nice step there. And this was Bele Mele's half break. Found a little bit of outside. Flung back in. Here yet, so found himself in a bit of space. And Maffey, that was a nice dummy and inside break. But here it should have gone, you feel. Got slowed down again here. The, the Saracens defenders did well. Gave their team a little bit of time to reorganise. Flood, as I said, he had, he had George and Gill in front of him and thought he might be able to open the door. And that was the wallop from Hayden Smith. It always looks worse on slow motion. That's what the crowd are seeing. They're seeing the slow-mo replay and... The, it's a little bit unfair to, to do it because uh, it always looks worse. I'm 100% confident there was no malice in it. You'll see it again here. As Mele comes round, it's Smith who finds himself a half a dummy. And it's Mele who's uh, making way off the field. More concussion problems, more injury problems for Leicester Tigers. The young Sam Harrison is on the field. A wonderful prospect is Harrison, but um, not sure whether he would have thought he would have got this much game time. And a big game for the young man. Now in front of him. few minutes to go to half time we've already had four substitutions injury substitutions I make it maybe more hold on a second we've got Fenton Wells has gone off Malay has gone off Jeff Parling has gone off so has Owen Williams lots of changes and uh, some unwelcome injury news on both fronts as both these teams look to uh, build towards these playoffs. That scrum has come up. Leicester could uh, sniff something here. Their second highest try scorer in the Premiership, Leicester Tigers. Penalty try. And uh, I think they'll, uh, they'll fancy their chances as far as uh, five yards out and a scrum down is concerned. All, all eight of them turned and looked at Greg Garner then as if to ask the question. This is a little bit more solid from uh, Saracens, although the secondary push is on. Waldron's collecting that ball, doing very well, and there it is. There it is, as if I'm a clairvoyant and I can see into the future. The arm is raised. He's underneath the post. Is Greg Garner. Penalty try for Leicester Tigers. And the Leicester fans, they love their rugby. Applaud a penalty try as much as uh, a well-worked backs move. 
This was the secondary push. The men came up there. Scott Sperling, you can see on the uh, flank, came up to have a look to see if the, the move was on in the backs. And it just meant the weight came off the uh, defensive uh, end of that scrum. And the men in green were able to push through. A couple of points from the boot of Toby Flood brings the half to a close. That is his 150th conversion of the Premiership. And this game is just starting to creak. It was a little bit of a kick fest early on. Players, uh, both teams looking for field dominance. Hasn't really fizzed yet. Could well do in the second half. Half-time score here at Welford Road. Leicester Tigers 10, Saracens 8. The uh, first half was certainly marred by a raft of injuries. Uh, Owen Williams, David Mele, Boris Stankovic, Jeff Parling all uh, leaving the field as far as Leicester were concerned. And Nick Fenton-Wells, the uh, number eight for Saracens, also had to make way. Three out of those, uh, well, four out of those five were head injuries. But we do get back underway here. Thomas Waltram uh, gathers the ball from the restart and uh, makes his way up the field. And uh, the young man there, Mauro Itoje, is a judge to have... Uh, Laid on uh, top of the ball, not rolled away. Itoje uh, playing in his first ever Premiership start. And uh, has uh, made a, a good first half uh, impression. Six foot five and 19 stone, highly rated, of course, uh, by Saracens. Part of the England under 20 setup uh, under the guidance of Nick Walsh at the moment. Owen Sheriff, it is his uh, second row partner who plucks that ball out of the air. The kicking game continues. Ball goes straight out, though, and they'll bring it all the way back. Ben Spencer scored a try in the first half. Did very well, finished it off. A nice dummy and duck under. Through he went. There's the other young man in uh, the back row making uh, a name for himself. Pablo Matera, Argentinian. A lot of nice things being said about him uh, in Leicester ranks. This is uh, Bowden, one of the uh, substitutions who's come on in the centre. Owen Williams going off a bit earlier. Toby Flood has moved to uh, fly half. Kitchener goes through. He finds Briggs, who in turn finds the uh, experienced Deacon. Oh, a bit of front foot stuff here from Leicester. Through they come, Yurtza tries to offload the ball, but... Does so whilst being upended. It's taken a bit of a knock as well as the Argentinian. Take covers back. Taki Thakibao tries to bring him down, but he runs into the hand of Hodgson, but he doesn't. Taters away again, but then is uh, royally smashed by Itoje. And the ball is uh, bounced forward. Garner going upstairs for uh, a little bit of clarification. Our TMO this afternoon is Sean Davy. Are they going back to the incident with the Yetza or? Hmm. Again, another area of the game under such close scrutiny at the moment. Taki Thakibao with the uh, tackle. He certainly picks him up and he, his knees certainly get high. And he's uh, on his back when he lands. And the, uh, you can hear what the Leicester <laughs> faithful think of it. So they're going to go back. Penalty, yellow card given out to the Saracens winger. Such a dangerous area. Lifting that man beyond the horizontal. 
even as big and sturdy and as strong a man as Marco Sietze. We need to look after them. And uh, hence, uh, that is why the uh, Fijian finds himself in the bin. And a very strong platform here for Leicester. Briggs, can he find his man? Kitchener it is, who rises highest. They'll roll this. Fraser Balmain has uh, got his hands on the ball and he trundles forward. A good rolling ball, this. Saracens don't have too much to answer. Mele tries to get his hands on the ball. Maffi, I think it is, will uh, try and burrow through. Mele comes for, into the midfield and it is the one and only Manu Tuilagi. Well, of course it is. Back in the Leicester throng, back on the score sheet. Well, it had a, an air of inevitability about it, didn't it? As they trundled forward, some good work from the forwards and then five yards out. So difficult to stop uh, Tuilagi. Oh, well, this is, uh, this is serious. It's a red card for Justin Melk. And the conversation there between Ghana and Simon McConnell was about gouging. Well, uh, obviously, the assistant referee had a very clear view of that and uh, was pretty confident when talking to his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his man in charge, Greg Garner, that that was gouging and a straight red. Well, it'll be interesting to see whether any camera angle has picked that up. But Justin Melt uh, makes his way from the pitch. And we are down to 13 men at the moment. Taki Thaki Bow is in the bin. And Justin Melt, man born in Cape Town, recently capped by Germany, finds himself sent for the field. On instruction from the assistant referee. Well, Leicester will be purring now. Advantage in numbers. Ball in hand. Fancy their chances. Ripped there out of the hands of Balmain. Good work from Itoje. Well, the first half was all about injuries. The second half is all about cards. But there's the finish from uh, Tuilagi. Oh, he saunters in, doesn't he? The bounce there. The timing of the uh, run, don't underestimate that. The uh, delivery of the pass from Flood as well was inch perfect. But Tuilagi bounces through as though he's uh, walking into his kitchen every single morning. Fine try to go with the penalty, penalty try in the first half. That pushes them uh, further ahead. Leicester Tigers uh, 17. Saracens 8. Saracens feed this scrum. Light as they are with seven men with milk sent from the field. Spencer, Hodgson, Strether. Good hands to keep the ball alive. Hodgson tries to dig a little bit further. This is the Irishman, Owen Sherry. Jamie George, captain now. My goodness, what a captain's job he's going to have to do for the remainder of this game with them light on numbers. Spencer, Hodgson, tries the inside ball, but it's been spilt and spilt into the hands of Tuilagi. Ayertza, Waldron, knocks the ball through rather cheekily. Ransom, decides to have a little bit of a run. So many moving parts has been Ransom. So difficult to work out which way, which direction he's headed. Ransom, uh, sorry, Hodgson, a little dab through. Well gathered there by Scully. But the ball pops out. Here they go again. Well held up by Matera. Continuity now. 
look to expose these numbers. Waldrum in a wider space than usual. Matera again. Good response from Saracens. Good tackling. They find themselves a little bit on the outside. The bounce again for Tuilagi, the big bend. The wonderful offload and suddenly Morris is in. Flings the ball back over his left shoulder. And Blaine Scully has scored Leicester's third try. Fourth try of the season for the American. And he'd be very grateful for the work done by his inside men. This was the fend from Tuilagi. The offload. Morris dummied, turned Ransom inside and then flung the ball back over his left shoulder. And it was Scully who scampers in. Well, of course there's going to be space, but with Manu on the field, it's going to be very difficult to uh, defend... Uh, if, especially if you go high with Tuilagi, he, he will just bounce you. He'll make you look a little bit daft. And with the runners that Leicester have got around the field, there's always going to be someone on hand. And that time it was Morris and then Scully. A good try. And can Flood add the conversion? Brings it back across the face of the goal and gets it. Well, that was a circus trick. The crowd behind him booed as if to say it was a poor kick to start with. Little did they know that wind was going to work its magic and bring the ball back through the posts. That was a bit special, Toby. Let's have a look at it again. He comes off the post as well. Goes through at the finest angle, yeah. <laughs> Travelling circus act, Toby Flood. Can uh, put it in from any angle. Census, uh, not Census Johnson. <laughs> His brother, James Johnson, is on the field. I saw a flash of, uh, of him. And, of course, it is rather a large flash. 20-odd stone making its way onto the field. But Leicester are starting to make this work and uh, starting to do very well. And they'll fancy their, uh, their chances to go on and push on with this second half. Sixteen points adrift. Saracens find themselves. I'll need to find the top of this lineup. They do through the hands of Itoje into the midfield through the uh, Scotland international Taylor. George presents it back to his scrum half Spencer. Spurling goes on a, a burst, but he doesn't burst much. Hodgson again. Taylor. A little dab through, then attempt from Spencer, and then he spills it. First knock on is uh, a judge to have gone off Leicester, though. So we'll have a scrum. Well, the scrums have, uh, have been quite good this afternoon. Richard Cockerell this week coming out in the press and saying that uh, without um, stoppages, uh, this game is, uh, is going to be... Uh, Four hours long. Scrums have uh, done well. We have had our stoppages. There's a man, a uh, couple of men off the field. Stankovic and Jeff Parling. But, uh, and only up once upstairs we've gone to the TMO for that yellow card offence. I'm not sure whether Richard Cockrell suggesting that all uh, TMO should go. <laughs> especially when it might benefit Leicester. Oh, that's naughty of me. But we're back on. The boot of uh, Balmain is done up. And Saracens will uh, have a scrum. Uh, one man light. 
feel the pressure. You can see that pressure coming through. They've done well. Ball flung in. Taylor. Route one. Hand in there. And seen by uh, Greg Garner. A penalty. Given to the men in blue and grey. And uh, Hodgson is asked by his captain, Jamie George, to knock it down the sideline. And he does expertly. Puts them five metres out. This is uh, Rob Hawkins making his way onto the field. Neil Briggs making way. Hawkins uh, announced earlier this year that he's uh, off to Newcastle Falcons. So maybe one of the last times that uh, he'll play at uh, Welford Road. A good career here as Hawkins. Saracens try and build from this lineup. It's the centre. Taylor doing the job. Short side stuff. Strether tries to wriggle free. Spencer delays the pass and confuses everyone. But they had the advantage. They'll go again. Let's line up. Well, some injury worries again. Men uh, needing attention. Owen Sheriff on the f uh, on one knee there. Again, the head looks as though it's uh, taking treatment. This is uh, Taki Thaki Bao, who's back on the field. His uh, yellow card earlier, his uh, time spent. But of course, it's Saracens who are also looking at uh, the future, or the near future, these playoffs. And Mako Vunipola this week is uh, struggling to make it fit after his hamstring injury. And there's another man who was uh, hamstrung a few weeks ago, Charlie Hodgson. He's making his way from the field. And I reckon uh, that's Niels Mort who's uh, come on. Explorer, experienced man from Harare, England Saxon. He's going to come on and try and steer this ship through. That is Mort. Led Saracens to a, uh, a memorable Sevens victory a couple of seasons ago. Very well respected in the Saracens ranks. Very popular man. And comes on with his team five metres out. Gathering the ball well through the work of Smith. Who reaches. Jamie George is... Got it crowbarred under his, uh, under his wing. And they're marching towards the try line. They look like they're over. Garner has a look. Penalty try given. Another penalty try from Greg Garner. In from the side uh, is the call. The ball not grounded through the work of Jamie George. But Greg Garner without hesitation. Running over and going under the sticks. Not sure what much of an angle we'll see of the grounding here, but obviously Garner was uh, confident enough. But he's uh, given the try to Saracens anyway. Now as he fell, you can see as he reached for the line, the ball uh, seemed stuck up. Spencer with the conversion, second conversion of the season for him. And of course, with Hodgson just gone off, he'll take over the duties. Well, uh, a little bit of game on. 24-15 in favour of Leicester Tigers. Saracen's a man down, but uh, looking good on that attack. Restart again through the uh, boot of Flood. Wilson finds his scrum half, Spencer. Nine points in it now. 
But with that man down, I think this is uh, this is going to be very difficult for Saracens. Uh, of course, uh, Saracens all uh, feel as though they can do anything at the moment. They're playing some great rugby. Confidence is certainly high. Melee into the midfield. Makes Flood reach for it. He twizzles and turns and presents the ball back. The uh, Frenchman Melee again. Digs in. Tate into scrum half. Flood finds Bowden. Waldron. Morris. Leicester edging their way up the field. Deacon pops the ball out to Ilagi. Picks the ball up brilliantly off his toes. Melee again. Short ball. Burst from Matera. Still going. Quick ball again. Can Leicester make this work? They can. Maffey's on an inside line. Big friends from the huge Australian born. Maffey. Bowden again. Looks to offload but keeps it close as the attention comes in. This is Matera. Lovely hands off the deck. Deacon finds it. Go short side, Kitchen up, can he reach? I think he can. Fine response from Leicester Tigers. Patient, inexorable as they went up the field. Lovely hands in amongst it. And this was the finish from Kitchen up. A metre short, but he's got arms a metre long. A lot of phases in that. You wind that take back and watch it again. You'll see just how clever they were at keeping the ball alive, keeping the ball quick from the base of rucks. And everyone seemed to play their part. And onto the field as if uh, that wasn't enough to bring the Leicester Tigers to their feet. Tom Croft, the British and Irish Lion, an England man, injured in the first game of the season against Worcester Warriors. A long time out with this knee injury, this knee operation. And now he's back. Is the timing on that return as good as the timing on Leicester Tigers' run in the playoffs? Are they hitting form at just the right time? Well, they'll beat, they're beating the league leaders at the moment. Croft, more than anyone, will be happy to join the fray. And it's a 16-point game again. Good conversion from uh, the boot of Flood. So Mills Mort gets us back underway into the hands of Waldron. Ball pops up. This is a Toche. Big Fen, lovely hands. Oh, the Saracens are back in. All of a sudden, just when you think this game is going one way, that's Jack Wilson. Wilson over for his third try of the season. He scored one earlier against uh, in the season against Leicester. Obviously he likes playing for them. Good Fen from Itoche. Gets his arm free. And presents the ball on a plate to Wilson. Straight back into it. And it'll be Spencer who'll try to make it seven points. Well, it's all going on here at Welford Road. We've had injuries galore. We've had yellow cards, red cards. We've had tries from uh, all sorts of angles. Penalty tries. And now a strike back. It could only have been a matter of seconds from the uh, restart there that uh, Wilson crashed over. And Spencer looks as though he's just pulled that one wide. So 29-20. Here you go. The ball pops loose. 
The young man, Atoche, does ever so well to make that his. And Wilson is doing a fabulous job just following it up, as all good wingers should do, on the shoulder. And that ball's gone straight out as well. Definitely flew on the wind, that one. Yeah, the wind, if anything, is helping that kick on its way out. So about halfway through this second half, it's a nine-point game. Sorry, 11-point game. The next scorer could be uh, quite interesting, especially if it's grey and blue. A reset on these uh, scrums. Here's the uh, rather large James Johnson up against a Yurtzer. Two rather large pieces of meat up against each other there. Good scrum from Saracens. Uh, allow Ransom to have a bit of space. Puts his kick in behind. Finds tape. Tate ducks back inside to try to elude the charging defenders, but can't. Good clearance kick, is it? Into the hands of Nils Mort. Wants to step, presents the ball, but Leicester are through. Scully's put his hands on the ball before he's got to his feet. And again, this will give uh, Saracens a chance to uh, knock it into good field position. Now you can see the knee was down there from Scully as he put his hand on the ball. Scully just signed a, a contract extension with Leicester Tigers. It will keep him here another year. Lewis Deacon's been here a fair few years, of course. Standing in his uh, 273rd Leicester game. Large amounts of experience in that uh, second row. But it's his opposite number, Owen Sheriff, who gathers the ball for Saracens. And round they come, try and get a roll on. And the ball has been... Uh, Hijacked. A mall has been uh, formed, says the referee. And in going to ground, when it's not coming back, it's given over to the opposition. Scott Sperling's not happy about that. The difficulty of this uh, law... It's interpretation and, of course, it's uh, the way that teams use it, both defensively and offensively. Certainly exposed there. Leicester Tigers doing a good job on tying the ball up. I've got a chance to uh, clear it here once the scrum uh, gets sorted. Greg Garner will come in and show him the mark and show him how to do it. Twenty-four thousand people here this afternoon at Welford Road, and of course that uh, that total pushes the uh, all-season attendance to three. 150,000 here at Leicester Tigers in total. If you add them all up, over 350,000. Incredible numbers. Wonderful job they've done here to uh, 
get all those people in. It's the Tigers themselves, a little out the back of the hand from Tuilagi, characteristically impish from the big man. Through they come again, Matera trying to offload. He stopped from doing so by good defensive work, but it's they've got him again. Bowden, soft hands from Waldron, a Yurtza in a wide channel. Can he get to the floor? Present that ball back to Mele. He can. Kitchener. One try scored already. Mele goes right. Flood. One of his last few games at Welford Road. Of course, off to south of France next year. Flood hits another line. Does Matera. Does very well. Mele again, quick ball. Flood sees a, an opportunity. Half goes through. Mele, there are numbers here. Waltham in through the line. Scully can't make it. Tiptoes down the line and flies out. Are they going upstairs with this to look at this? Is this one of the decisions that Richard Cockrell is uh, talking about? Do we do we need to have a look at this? What are we what are we looking at here exactly? Hawkins, good hands, tiptoe down. Um. He's done very well to stay in field there. He reaches around the post, the other side. His knee is on the floor there by quite some distance. Well, as if by magic, uh, because we're talking about Cockerell, talking about the use of TMOs, we get an opportunity to look at one then. Long ball thrown back in by Saracens. Itoje gathers it. Spencer clears it. Tate miss kicks and kicks it straight out. Had a couple of those this afternoon. Miss kicks from Tate. It's costly. It's uh, brought them all the way back into their own half. Former Newcastle Falcon and Sale man. Now very much at home here at Leicester. Seems an absolute lifetime ago that he was uh, in that England fault. More substitutions. A Yurtza makes way. And this is a lovely moment for 19-year-old uh, Tiziano Pasquale. Onto the field for his uh, first premiership. game and uh, just looking across that is uh, that's Sam Harrison who's back on the field he, he came onto the field a bit earlier and Mele took a knock to the head Mele resumed the second half but uh, Harrison is back on the field this is Waldrum but yeah a, a nice moment for the uh, young Italian Pasquale. Oh, this is Tate. A little bit of room. Presses the accelerator. Harrison. Inside ball to the young Italian. Who bundles forward. His uh, long Roman hair flowing well. Lovely hands from Matera. We've seen a fair few times today what he can do and why these Leicester players and the crowd are so excited about this prospect of Pablo Matera. Keeps the ball alive so, so well. But we'll come back for an infringement. Penalty given to Leicester. High tackle there on Deacon. And Leicester in no mood to uh, go for the post. They uh, pump it into the corner. Three tries already this afternoon.
sorry. My mistake. Four tries, of course. Miscounting. They fancy another one, though, do the men in green in front of their home shed. Up they go. Waldrum will drive this one closer. Harrison telling him how close he is to the uh, touchline. Comes in field. Harrison helps Waldron out, who peeled off that mall. Ball is presented. This is Matera dragging players with him. Strong lad from Argentina, from Buenos Aires. Back into the midfield. Harrison, little dab through from uh, Flood. Ball is bouncing everywhere. And it bounces out of anyone's grasp. Dead ball line, it goes uh, over. And we're out for the 22. Nice vision from Flood, but the uh, ball eluding everyone's grasp. Waldrum again, he's uh, been ever present this afternoon. Having a good game is uh, the New Zealand uh, English qualified number eight off to Exeter Chiefs, of course, next season. Three year contract he secured with the men at Sandy Park. This is Pasquale. Harrison. Into the midfield, man and ball taken. Dane Bowden's taken a bit of a clatter there from uh, the centre, Duncan Taylor. Already got a bloody nose as uh, Bowden. Almost got a bit more there. Strong hit from Taylor. He's been excellently uh, defensively as well, as well as offensively for uh, Saracens. No wonder he's caught the eye of the... Uh, Scotland selectors. Bowden. Taking on some water. Uh, interested onlookers now, including uh, Justin Melk, who uh, was earlier red carded. Just over 10 minutes left uh, in this game. If uh, Saracens can get a, a score pretty quickly, we uh, will have a pretty tasty uh, finish on our hands. Ball is out. Can Spencer disrupt? Harrison clears up quite well. Leicester clear through the boot of Toby Flood. High, hanging into this breeze. Ransom dances forward to collect it. Goes round one man. Beautiful offload to Taylor. Lovely hands down the left-hand side. Seems to have been bouncing. Was it knocked on? Lost in the tackle. And now all of a sudden they've got a bit of space themselves. And Matera looks up and puts his left boot through the ball. Spurling. Ransom. They've got an attack again from the 22. But Ransom feels it's on. This is Barrington who's on the field. Johnson. Out Saracens come again. The big man, the young man, Itoje. Dropped again by Saracens. Can Leicester uh, break? Advantage over his cord. It ricochets off boots again. 
come to Tuilagi. He does a little bit of magic out the back. Far too quick and fast for Toby Flood. What was that, Bowden? It's breaking up this game as, of course, it, uh, we knew it would. And there were some of the tricks on show. Are really quite exciting. Behind the back stuff, out of the side of the hand stuff. Another man injured. It's taking treatment. Well, it was a first half uh, riddled with injury. Second half has flowed a little bit more. It's uh, starting to break up now, but we've had some uh, rugby to talk of uh, in the second half. Certainly some good scores from the home side, Leicester Tigers. And some quick riposte from Saracens. This was a Toje. It's uh, Scully, I think, who injures himself. It is. And it's a Toje who's going to make way. He's had a good game, I think. All things considered, you know, first... Uh, Premiership start at Welford Road. Goodness me. There can be easier places to begin things. But I think he's done well. Certainly a name to look out for. Been playing at Blindside this afternoon. Usually a second row. Very mobile second row as well. Certainly one for the future. Scully still down, having his checks uh, with the physio and the medical uh, team. The fact that he's sitting up is obviously uh, good. And he's making his way from the field, as many have done so before him this game. Saracens will hit this line out. Ball is cleared through the boot of Dan Bowden. Fine touch found. A good chase. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not... I know you can throw it backwards at a line out. I'm not 100% sure whether you can throw it forwards. Wasn't straight. There you go. Garner, quick Garner, had to have a think about it. Ben Ransom shaking his head as if to uh, try and suggest that that wasn't. <laughs> Some uh, interesting conversations going on between players and uh, referee that you can hear. Greg Garner dealing with it very well. Rob Hawkins is turned to uh, take a seat. Check that uh, all the uh, working parts are in order. And it's Hawkins who clashed heads there with uh, Taki Thaki Bao. Well, this afternoon we will find out the uh, contenders in the playoffs. Of course, that big game happening down at the Stoop. Quinns versus Bath. Very tight, I heard, at half-time. Bit of a humdinger. All to play four for fourth. Saracens in first. Leicester look as though they're heading towards cementing third. And uh, Northampton doing... Uh, their bit and landing a second. All of a sudden, Ben Spencer has grabbed the ball and he's going, heading into the corner. Can he make it work? He can. I think they'll go upstairs to have a look at it all. But he's done very well there against a tired defence. Suddenly it opened up. Waldrum 
tries to throw the quick offload and Spencer is away. Round Deacon has the pace and then it's just about choosing which angle he's going to go in. Looks pretty good from where I am. It's the defender who goes into touch. He's in the air and the ball is down. It's a good try. That's fine work from Spencer. The second try of the game for the young man from Stockport. Second try of the game, second try of the Premiership season. Shot to prominence a couple of seasons back. Was uh, put into the England Saxons. Got a run, of course, with injury to uh, Neil de Kock and Rigglesworth. Shot into prominence with Saracens and uh, took the plaudits and took the opportunity. Was in the England Saxons team and has spent this season a little bit in the wilderness. But this game will uh, certainly have him metaphorically putting his hand back up. And reminding the Saracens management that he is here. And he is a good player. And his left boot will bring this one in nicely from the touchline. Well, are we going to have a, a final few minutes to savour here? Leicester Tigers 31, Saracens 27. Could Saracens do the uh, unthinkable and with 14 men, a man down, snatch this one? Tigers will have to be on their guard. Ball is lifted high into the... Uh, May Sunshine, here up at Welford Road. Spencer ordering people about. Fine kick. He's had a fine game as the scrum half. Well, this will be a turn up for it to a certain extent if they can uh, pull up something there. That's Tom Jubb is on the field. A young man uh, injured early in the season. He was uh, a nasty injury. Injured playing for Bedford Blues against Leeds. He damaged his, uh, his knee. But good to see him back on the field. But it's Leicester who have the ball here. It's Matera who has it, who's trying to guide it forward a little bit. Harrison goes in, asks for it. Flood. Manu to Ilagi. Harrison again, they go right. Bit of space outside, hand in there from Owen Sheriff. The judge to have done it illegally. The one-hand reach, often penalised. Has that just taken the sting out of it? Will Leicester pin them back here? Make them play from deep? It's a good kick from Flood. If it could have gone to hand, of course. Might have been interesting. Can't have any real complaints about that, I wouldn't have thought. But here we go. Uh, Saracens will have to defend this one. Deep in their own half. That's the 22. Leicester will roll this. Waldron again. He's done ever so well this afternoon. Orchestrated things very well from number eight. He's isolated a little bit. And Johnson has done well over the ball. Presents it. Time is quick. Time is running out. Nils Moore thinks he has just about enough time to uh, bang this down and take the line out. Fine kick. Oh, are we set up here for something a little bit special? These two teams that could well meet again in the next few weeks. Maybe even in the final.
And we'll try and find out what's happening elsewhere, of course, because uh, could have a, a bearing on things. Leicester have stolen that well through the work of Tom Croft. Brilliant. Just as Saracens were licking their lips and thinking about something a little bit naughty late on here to steal it from them, Tom Croft has made amends there. Brilliant from him. Not releasing the man either. And they'll get it. And that could well be uh, it. And it is. Toby Flood kicks the ball into the stand. And that is the game. Well, it stopped and started. It didn't really fizz into the classic that it could have potentially have been. But there were some good tries in there. A welcome return to the field to Tom Croft after such a long layoff. But both these sides will be mad keen to take some momentum into these final few games. And it's Leicester Tigers who get the win. How it will affect things in the coming weeks, we'll have to see. But final score here at Welford Road, Leicester Tigers 31, Saracens 27.